So there's three main ways that heat can be transferred from one body to another body. Let's start by considering convection. Convection happens when we heat up some of the gas or some of the liquid. As we heat it up, we've seen that its volume expands. So as its volume expands, it's less dense because you've got the same amount of matter in the biggest space and so there's less mass per unit volume. If something's less dense than the surroundings, then it will tend to float. And so when we heat up liquid or when we heat up gas, so the air in the room for example, that hot air rises or the hot liquid rises. As it rises, it comes into contact with the cold air or cold liquid around it, which causes it to cool down. So it rises until it's come to thermal equilibrium with the surroundings, at which point it cools down and falls back down again because it's once again denser. And then it's heated up and it rises again. This clip shows you that process happening in a kettle. When we add food dye to a kettle, you can see that as it goes to the bottom, the water at the bottom is heated up by the element in the kettle. This causes it to become less dense and it rises and then falls back down. As this happens with the food dye, the food dye diffuses through the water, so it's not possible to see it undergoing multiple cycles, but it is actually undergoing those multiple cycles like this inside our kettle.